Sean from Shieldwall Gaming here, and I'm messing around with these vlogs a little bit just to see, like, do people like them? I'll be going on a trip to California, so I'm going to be do some, doing some of them from there um, as, I, as the content itself, like, for some of the games slows down. And uh, as the rest of the club members sort of uh, pick up on some of the games that they're, we're getting ready to film. I want to talk a second about the um, coronavirus and how it relates to gaming or how it impacts gaming. And, you know, you might even hear that and go, well, it, that's kind of a silly video because, you know, people just need to be smart and do what they need to do. And I, I totally agree with that. And also gaming becomes secondary um, or even, uh, you know, moves to third or fourth or fifth or at the very bottom of your list when it comes to the, the health and safety of you and your family. But there's been a few things in the news that have come out recently that have really kind of made me think a little bit. Um, and one thing that we're seeing is the banning of large groups of people getting together. And I think um, in certain counties in Washington, they've said that, you know, groups of bigger than 200 are banned. I don't know, really know how they're going to ban something like that. But the, it started getting me thinking a little bit. And as my company and other companies and and the, the rest of the United States starts to kind of react a little bit and start to prepare and and think through like, what are we really doing when when these things become a concern. I started thinking about Shield Wall, and I thought, okay, well, what do we do? Uh, how are we taking the coronavirus seriously for you know our members that we have playing here all the time? And so we certainly take some uh, many precautions there, and it usually just entails a large uh, bin of Clorox wipes um, and making sure that those are utilized frequently. But I started thinking about other establishments that I go into other gaming clubs. And I think about like, how often do I see those clubs, um, you know, wiping down or cleaning up, you know, their areas or how often, and maybe it is happening and you just don't see it. And then I, again, the same thing I think about uh, conventions or, or uh, groups of, you know, a hundred or more people that get together and are playing games and, those tables that are set up and put down and set up again and put down again. And I don't know if that has as much of a, it's not as much of a concern for, I guess, coronavirus. I think it only lives outside of the body for like a day or something like that. Like, you know, somebody can't cough on a package, mail it to you, and then you're going to get sick. It doesn't work like that. But um, it's more the concern of the people being together. Uh, but I, it is interesting, you know, you, you so people play at a table and then, you know, you get, they get up and leave and then you play at that table. We're big into neuroprene mats as I'm sitting in the club, neuroprene mats are everywhere. You know, how often are those Lysol? You know, you don't usually take Lysol wipes to those to clean them because they're a, a fabric. So are we, do you, do we spray them enough? Um, is bringing your own mat to play games, especially card games or things like that? Is that going to, going to help? So I just started thinking through all that stuff. And I guess, you know, some of the precautions that we could take is to say, one, wherever you're playing, especially over the next three, four weeks until this thing dies down, you know, check with the owners or the organizers. Make sure that there's a plan, right? So everybody's kind of, uh, I don't want to say, some people are kind of joking about it and say, oh, well, everybody's got to have a plan. Oh, there's a contingency plan. Well, we all should have some type of contingency plan. And certainly from a, you know, our lives and our health and, and our families and that, that end. But um, where we go, what we do, what where we travel, what we're, you know, washing hands. I'm going to be going to California uh, for a little, for a, a few days here coming up. And, you know, that becomes something that like how we would normally act changes. So that's our contingency plan. What are we bringing? I normally wouldn't bring a big thing of Lysol wipes, but I'm going to be. Um, so does that change? Does, does, do you have a contingency plan for gaming? Is something that I kind of wanted to, to hear from the comments below and uh, give me your thoughts. Um, I think we should. And I, I think that my mind would be if I'm going to a place and I might go to a couple places in California to check out their stores. Um, maybe I ask them before I play, like, are you wiping stuff down? And it seems like a very rude thing to ask or kind of a crude thing. Um, but I think it's okay to do that. Uh, or, or I bring my own and I clean the table on my own. Um, but I don't think we're at a place where we should stop having, you know, groups of 200 or more people get together. I think people need to be smart. I think a person is very smart. I think people are very panicky and crazy at times, as we know. Uh, but I think individuals need to be smart about where they're at. If they have a cough, if they're sick, that should be the case. Coronavirus or no coronavirus. If you have a cough and you have probably a fever, don't go to the magic tournament. Like that's just kind of a con, you know, that's 
uh, a common sense type of thing. Anyway, let me know what you think about this or if you've thought about it at all. Or maybe it's like, hey, Sean, quit trying to feed into this coronavirus thing. And I, that's not my intent. Um, but it's something that is becoming so in our face all the time that it's making me just think about it a little bit more. And I'm like, okay, if I'm going to be going to a gaming area that's got 100 or more people in it, do I change what I do? Do I not go? Um, and we're seeing that be an impact in the United States right now. People are just not going. You know, they're not, I'm not traveling. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Um, and is that our reaction or should it be to this? And should it be as gamers? Should this be our reaction? Just don't go to the, to a place and play. Just stay away from people. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if that's the best thing to do. I think it's just be smart. And as gamers, we can do that and we can make sure that the gamers, uh, or that the, those that are hosting gaming events and stores are being smart as well. Let me know what you think. Thanks for giving Shield Wall a chance.